Dallas be all in <laughs> on Dak Prescott long term? Christopher Mad Dog Russo, you take it first. Absolutely. I'll let uh, Mr. Chippendales get on me in a minute. Absolutely no way. You're going to pay him $60, $65 million a year and kill your salary cap. And I don't care about his MVP runner up, I don't care about the MVP regular season. Dak Prescott is a decent quarterback. You are not winning a championship with Dak Prescott as your quarterback. I have come to that conclusion. He's lost too many playoff games. He was awful against Green Bay when everything was set up perfectly because of that home field situation with the way Eagles finished the year. Yeah. He is better. He is no better than, mm. what, maybe 10 in the NFL, the position. Uh. And listen, Lewis, if he was making 10, you know, $20 million, if I didn't kill my cap, I can make the argument, you can do better than Dak Prescott. Million. He's not that good. He's not that good. Bottom line, he's not that good. He's not worth it. You know what it is? It's simple. He's not worth sixty but, but, million a year. But dog, he's not worth dog, you know, year. dog, you know, I, I just want you to know. I tell everybody I talk to. I said, dog, he's one of my favorite people in the world now. This dude is funny. He's genuine. He's nice. He, he's a legend. He's also wrong right now. He's wrong. Look, I mean, dog, you can't pay him twenty million. I mean, the going, the market rate right now for Jared Goff. Jared Goff is making fifty plus. Okay, Burrow's making 55. Look, Dak's going to get 50 plus. It's going to be up above there, and it, and it should be up above there. And Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones have no issues, you know, paying him that amount. Look, objectively speaking, over the past three years, all right, Dak's played what? 45 games, 45 regular season games. He's third in TD passes, second in passer rating, 10th in yards per attempt. Now, he is 22nd in interception percentage. We know that becomes a problem from time to time. But what's your next best alternative if you don't pay Dak Prescott, given how they've structured the rest of this football team? Where are you going to turn? Where you, 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 what you're saying is you're just going to go ahead and go, hey, you know what? We're not going to pay him. But we're going to pay CD, we're going to pay Micah, we're going to pay Trayvon, we're going to continue to try and build up this defense with, you know, with draft picks and young players, we're going to try and get better that way, and we're just not going to have a quarterback. I guess what you're going to do is resign Trey Lance, give Trey Lance a shot at it, you're going to hope that somewhere along the line you're able to get somebody in free agency, maybe in the draft. I think with Dak right now, I think whenever you're talking about quarterbacks like this, I understand, look, People are having this debate right now about Tua. Should Tua be a $50 million a year plus quarterback? That's the market. That's just what it is. There's no way you could get away. You couldn't even justify paying Dak Prescott $25, $30 million. You couldn't even – I mean, he, he would laugh at you. I would laugh at the situation. You, you can't justify it. Do I, do I believe that he needs to be better in crucial situations – namely the playoffs, of course. But when you point back to like a game against the, against the Green Bay Packers last year in the playoffs – Dak Prescott didn't lose that football game. We saw how that defense got ran through in that game to a degree that was so embarrassing. It was so embarrassing that you couldn't just hang that around Dak Prescott's neck. And I understand he's the quarterback. I understand he gets an inordinate amount of, of, of blame. He takes an inordinate amount of criticism. I understand it comes with the territory. But the market says... And Dak's stats back up to me the fact that you're going to have to pay him if you don't have another alternative. And they don't have another alternative. The alternative for them would be to take a backseat to not just the Philadelphia Eagles. You may quickly be taking a, a backseat to the Washington Commanders, and you may be taking a backseat to the New York Giants too if you're not careful. Ooh. Be careful if you don't pay this man. Be careful. All right, Lewis Riddick. <clears throat> This is not doggy talking to you. I love the love affair between you two. It's very touching. Uh, but this is me and you talking, my brother, right here. Because I, I'm, 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 I'm quite annoyed that somebody as brilliant as you would take that position. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful about what? I got a guy that's been quarterbacking for my team for eight years and got me to a conference finals. I got a guy that's been quarterbacking for me for eight years that's got a grand total of two playoff games. When are we going to ask, generally speaking, I understand the intimacies, the nuances that come along with it. There's a regular season. We know how well he performs during a regular season. There's so much more that goes into winning and losing football games, blah, blah, blah. I know all of that, man. But I'm saying to you, at the end of the day, when do I get to ask, if I'm sitting on the opposite ends of a negotiating table, when do I get to ask, mm -hmm. how many quarterbacks can I find to win me two games in eight, eight years, two playoff games in eight years? When do I get to ask that question? 
Because you see, that's what it has to come down to. When I'm looking at some of these numbers, since 1996, the Dallas Cowboys, one of only five teams without a conference championship game appearance since 1996. The Texans, the Browns, the Dolphins, and the Commanders are the other four teams that have pulled off that feat. We understand that Jerry Jones has been the GM for the team the entire time, so there's a huge blemish on his resume. We understand this comes down to him, but he ain't going to fire himself, okay? I'm looking at Dak Prescott. We're not talking about somebody that just can't get it done in the postseason. We're talking about somebody whose palms look sweaty, whose backside look tight. He ain't ready. We could tell when they said, don't act like they ain't tell you that, because I know they have. And so when you look at it from that perspective, I'm simply saying, you brought up the name Garrett, Jared Goff. I recall him quarterbacking in the Super Bowl. I recall him just being in an NFC championship game. I ain't seen Dak Prescott in either one of those. You mm. brought uh, – who else did you bring up that went to the Super Bowl? Okay, Joe Burrow. I'm sorry. That's a Super Bowl appearance. That's about two or three AFC championship games, okay? And he's been in the league less than Dak Prescott. Nobody's saying that Dak Prescott deserves to go broke. Nobody is saying that you should want to dismiss him. What I'm saying is when Doggy brings up $60 million, and you know you're dealing with a hard cap, and that those dollars that you allocate for him are going to compromise your ability to spread the wealth a little bit and to make sure that other mm. pieces around him get paid. It, it at least gives you, should at least give you cause to pause. Don't act like that ain't the case, Lewis Riddick. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, look, I'm not, all right, well, first of all, I'm not sitting, look, Doggy brought up that $60 million, uh, $60 million a year figure. Not me. I ain't saying $60 million. I'm not saying we're trying to go ahead and, 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 and top Joe Burrow by $5 million average per year. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying, is Dak going to be in the $50 million plus uh, range? Yes, he is. Should he be? Yes, he should. That's what, that is what his, his uh, market is going to be. And if he, does, if he didn't get it in Dallas, he'll get it somewhere else. That's just a fact. Look, without Dak Prescott, without him, without him, Without you paying the going market rate, you won't even get to the playoffs. You're not even going to get a chance to lose games in the playoffs. You're not even going to get there. And number two, look, we can't, just like we can't dismiss some of the shortcomings and some of the pitfalls that he has had in the postseason, we also can't discount and we can't dismiss the fact that this is a team game. If you put Dak Prescott with Sean McVay in Los Angeles, if you put Dak Prescott with Dan Quinn and that coaching staff, that offensive line, that running game in Detroit, would you get the same, the same kind of production that you got out of Jared Goff? And look, I love Jared Goff. I remember there was a day now when Jared Goff was, was being talked about as someone who should be banished to the CFL, okay? So let's not all of a sudden think that all of a sudden, because Jared Goff is getting $53 million a year, that everyone felt, well, yeah, this is something that should have happened a long time ago. Because there was a time where people thought he wasn't worth – his weight at all either in the NFL. What I'm saying, though, is this. And I look at this, I try to look at this objectively from a very, a very rational standpoint. What is your next best alternative? If you don't commit to Dak Prescott and you let him hit free agency, what are, you, what are your reasonable expectations for 2024 as a Dallas Cowboy uh, front office executive, coach, fan, player, Jerry Jones himself? What is the reasonable expectation? You probably aren't even going to the playoffs. You're probably not even going to get there.